Hello there guys and welcome back to another update video with myself, Furum. Now today we're going to be taking a look at what is coming in the update on the 24th of November 2016. So the biggest update that we have this week guys all relates to consoles. Now earlier on this week Gary put out this tweet saying consoles hate L-I-N-Q. Fuck this shit Gary on console. So if you don't know what uh, Link is... It is a language integrated query. It's a Microsoft programming model and methodology that essentially adds formal query capabilities into Microsoft NET based programming languages. So it's essentially something that they're using to try and get Rust working on consoles. And then today we have had another tweet from Gary and this one reads menu screen works, navigation with gamepad works. So they have managed to get it working on a console and at least be able to navigate the menu. But that is the biggest piece of news that we have. It's not even coming this week, but it is something that we can all look forward to. Now most of the other stuff that's come in this week has been stuff relating to next week's update. As we all know, next week will be the first update in December and we will have a forced wipe. And that's generally when they put in all of the big new map updates and any changes to monuments. So stuff that they've been working on this week that you'll be seeing next week is work around caves again. They've been re-added back in, but obviously that won't be live as of this week. It's just back in in terms of testing. There's also been some work around proc gen, so we will be seeing some changes to the procedurally generated map. And then there's been quite a lot of work on dungeon art, as there has been most weeks. We've been seeing a lot of stuff being added in and more tweaking into the harbour stuff, so possibly next week we may see harbours. But now we move into stuff that's actually coming this week, there are a couple of things that I can quickly show you. But most of it I won't actually be able to show you. I can just talk you through it. So the first thing that we have is the aim down sight for the M249. If we take this out here and we look down the sight. You will notice that the back side of these sights has now been slightly increased. Much like it was with the LR300. So you can now get a better view when you're looking through this. They've also fixed some issues with the world model for the M249. Though I honestly can't see very many changes when I'm looking at world models myself. There have also been some updated UI sounds. I can imagine it's when you're dragging stuff around your UI and you get the sounds. I can only imagine they've added in a few more of those or some other stuff in the UI is now making sounds. Now I'm not going to go through and explore all of this, it's just one of those little subtle things that sits in the background that everybody enjoys but doesn't really notice that it's there all too much. And we've also got some changes to the water bottle and the boater bag world models. And once again, similar to the M249, I don't really notice anything different with world models. I don't think I have that keen of an eye. But there they are on the ground just so you can take a little look at them. And then the next thing that you will notice in game is the default world size has changed to 3500. But looking at this in a bit more detail, I have noticed that this does seem to tie in around the caves and proc gen type of things. So this is probably something that has come up this week, but it won't actually be live until next week. And then the next stuff that I have for you all pertains around this inventory. So there has been a bug fixed where if you had 400 or more items in your Steam inventory, you were getting issues within the inventory. That's no longer happening, that bug has been fixed. We've also got a new crafting item where we can get skins from and that is the weapon barrel. This costs 10 metal, 5 cloth and 5 wood and you can get pretty much skins for anything that you can hold. And then other than that, Gary will be adding some new skins into the game today. He put on Twitter earlier asking for people to link some skins that they would like to see in the game. And the people have been linking a lot over there. There's a ton of comments on there. I will leave a link to that down in the description. It probably is already too late by the time this video goes up. But maybe not. 
It's just something that you can keep an eye on for next week because he seems to be adding in skins every week now and you would only imagine he would do it on a Thursday, which is update day. So that is everything from me today then, guys. I hope you have enjoyed and if you have, make sure you hit that like button and if you would like to see more content, then make sure that you are subscribed. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day. Thank you.